All right, so that concept example I got cut off on, we were making the least common denominator. So we'd found the prime factorization for 24 here and 18 here, and we'd put down that we had unique factors of 2 and 3, and the highest exponent for the 2s was right here with the 3, and the highest exponent for the 3s was right here with the 2s, so that's what we put in. And now we just have to multiply these out to find our least common denominator. And so 2 cubed is 8, and 3 squared is 9, so 8 times 9 is 72, and that's our least common denominator. Now that's what we're going to do with rational expressions as well. So what you need to realize is that for a rational expression, a polynomial can be factored, and factoring is doing a prime factorization. So for a polynomial, to find prime factorization is that factoring uh, skill that we've been learning for a while here. So if I have 2 over x minus 1 and 5 over x plus 2, you see I have prime factors here and here because each of these polynomials are primes. And so my least common denominator for two binomials that are prime polynomials, right, would just be those prime numbers. This would be like if I were to have a fra uh, two fractions with prime numbers as the denominators. So if I were to have two-thirds and um, say one half, the least common denominator for two thirds and one half, because these are primes, right? The LCD of these things is just three times two. And that's exactly what we're saying up here. It's just this prime number times this prime number, and that's my least common denominator. Now moving on to the next example here, before I can find the least common denominator, I have to factor. So I write down the three, and I say that's 3 times x plus 1. Now it's factored. Here I see I have 2's all the way across, so 2 times x squared minus 6x plus, three, uh, plus 9. Sorry. And then I say, oh, well, x minus 6 plus um, nine, x squared minus 6x plus 9, that's a perfect square trinomial. Perfect square, perfect square, twice the roots equal that, so yes indeed, so 2 times x minus 3 quantity squared. And so my least common denominator this time, I see factors of 2, I see factors of 3, I see x plus um, 1's, and I see x minus 3's, and then I need highest exponents on all of these, and the only one that has an exponent other than 1 is the x minus 2, 3 squared. And so my least common denominator, the 2 and the 3 get to multiply, 6 times x plus 1 times x minus 3 squared. And so what we see is really the product of these two. This would be something like if I had 1 and 4, uh, 1 fourth, I'm sorry, and 1 ninth, the least common denominator between these because this is made up of two squareds and three squareds over here, which have nothing in common, just end up looking like the least common denominator um, being those two things multiplied out. That's all it looks like. And that's what we had here for a least common denominator because there's nothing in common between them. They just all multiply out and that becomes our least common denominator. Okay, so what we saw in the last one was we had to factor first, so we'll do that. Oh, I see a perfect square trinomial. Perfect square, perfect square, twice the roots, yep. So this is 2x plus 1 quantity squared. And then over here, I see I have a 2x here and an x here, right, because the only way to factor 2, and the only way to factor 3 is with a 3 and a 1, so 3 there makes a 6 minus a 1, so I need a minus 3 and a positive 1 here, and now what I see my least common denominator looking like, well it has 2x plus 1's in it, and it has x minus 3's in it, and then I need the highest exponent of each. So the highest exponent of the 2x plus 1's is squared, and the x minus 3's is 1. And so that's my least common denominator. This is one of those cases where there's a little bit of overlap. It's like doing 1 12th and 1 18th, right? 18 and 12 have a little bit of overlap with their 3's and 2's, their 6's, right? And this is the same thing here. They had a little bit of overlap. And so that's what goes into those things, the highest exponent. All right, and let's see, I can write this out really quickly, 2 times 3, and then 